Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of product review or customer feedback or um, just an opportunity to connect with one of my viewers and I'm going to bring the rest of you along. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read his email and then we are going to discuss um, some options for him because maybe this would be something that you might find useful for yourself. Okay, so email goes, I found your videos on your YouTube channel as you were one of <laughs> one of the few English videos I found referencing SQ Lab products, specifically their saddles. So I'm wondering if most of them are, are German uh, since SQ Lab is a German company. Um, I've battled to find comfortable saddles since getting back on my bike again this year. I've ordered the new 60X Infinergy. Uh, so we'll see how that pans out. I'm not familiar with that saddle. I can't give a recommendation one way or the other. For road saddles, I stick with the 612 Ergo Wave. Um, now, I, there's a lot of purchasing on the uh, active saddle, but I don't ride an active saddle. I ride just a standard saddle. Um, in your videos, you mention your focus on endurance cycling. Do you have any recommendations for cycling bibs? Given you like the SQ Lab brand for saddles, have you ever considered them for their bibs? They do, they do the reverse for the padding, preferring a thin, somewhat firm pad. Would love for you to do a video on them if you ever venture to try one. I live in South Africa and next year I'm hoping to do a race called the Munga. It's 1,068 kilometers as a single stage continuous race. You have 120 hours, basically five days uh, to finish. And it's relatively flat race, but as you can imagine, it'll hurt no matter what. So I'm trying to glean all the useful endurance information I can before then. With a number of endurance rides building in distance between now and then. Any advice is appreciated. Regards, Daryl. Okay, so Daryl, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I appreciate your email and I appreciate um, the questions you've posed. So let's bring everyone along up to speed, as they say. I recommend the SQ Lab saddles in my bike fitting service and for myself and for my crew of riders. Uh, one of the things I love about this saddle is I don't have to carry gender specific saddles. So male, female, they both fit this saddle really well. Uh, they come in different widths and that's about all the customization you need to do. So you measure your sit bones and you'll have a 12 centimeter, 13, 14, 15 centimeter option. Those are the most common. I don't know if they make an 11 and I, I don't know if they make a 16 and they probably do that in other saddles. But on the SQ Lab, they stop at 15. I'm sorry, on the 612, they stop at 15. I love this saddle for a lot of reasons. This flat portion here is really, really nice when you get up on the nose of the saddle. It has just a tiny bit of padding. I love this depression here. I'm not a fan of saddles with channels. That's just a personal thing. You do you. Okay, whatever's comfortable for you doesn't mean it's comfortable for me and vice versa. But this is a, an extremely comfortable saddle. And if you don't know my history, um, I, I've stopped putting my bio on all the video item, um, video descriptions. But my history is I've done a lot of 200 milers, 500 milers, race across America, 3000 miler. I've done a lot of endurance cycling over the years and every Saturday if I don't do a good six hour ride I feel like I'm missing something of my Saturday 
it it's not complete without getting at least you know six to seven or eight hours on the bike um and then last year last year was a year where i was uh, going for ten thousand miles and a million feet of climbing and i've done a million feet of climbing many years in a row um you know so out, out of the last six years I, 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 at least five of those years so a million feet of climbing takes a lot of time on the bike and i'm comfortable with my sq lab saddle now the question then is have i thought about the sq lab bib shorts yes i have <laughs> as a matter of fact I own two pair of them and Daryl is very um, is very astute in pointing out that they go with a very thin pad and it is very firm so Daryl you're right on the money this is a very thin chamois it also has if you look at it I'll try to put the, the the saddle and the bibs in the same orientation if you look at it this being the back of the chamois it has the same i'm sorry this is hard to do <laughs> but it has the same depression in the same place as the saddle does right so right in here there's a relief for the relief on the saddle i mean they thought of everything right so it's a very, very thin and very firm chamois. There are, there is like nothing on it. You don't see a bunch of designs or perforations or ventilation or any of that stuff. It's a very simple design, but guess what? That's the beauty of it. It's super simple, just like their saddles are. They are super simple. There's no tricks, gadgets. Uh, there's just nothing that is, I don't know, revolutionary about it. It's just a very comfortable saddle. And so are the bibs. Now, you have to do you. But this feels very comfortable for me. I've only got two pair. I don't know what their new uh bib shorts are like i'll need to order those as well but <clears throat> i wear these quite often and they're super thin so by comparison asos a s s o s asos is really known for their bib shorts i mean they have jerseys and winter clothing and all that stuff but their business was built on high quality and very high quality bib shorts so this is one just one of their bibs and, and you can kind of see how fat that chamois is compared to what i what i was just showing you about the sq lab i mean it's if you set it on a on its side you can just see how much fatter that is right and I've worn these a lot too for a lot of endurance races. Um, at my 500 milers, which is 500 miles nonstop and 35,000 feet of climbing, the first day of that event, I would wear the sponsored kit from whatever team I was I was on at the time because that's when everyone's all all excited and all the pictures and videos and all that stuff's being taken. By the time you get into the night. And the morning of the next day, most people are just, they're dog tired. And they're no longer taking a ton of pictures and videos and all that stuff. So I would wear the sponsored kit uh, from the team I belonged to at the time. And then by day two and the finishing um, 100 miles of the 500, I was pretty much in an ASOS bib by that time. So a lot of my finishing photos... I'm wearing an ASOS bib and maybe just the jersey from the team. So that was, or that bib short was replaced by this Evo. And they went even thicker. 
I mean, you could just see how thick this pad is. So you have to do you. Maybe you need a lot of padding, but maybe you just need a saddle that fits you better. And then you can go with minimal padding. Now, just like saddles with a lot of padding, I generally don't find that those are very comfortable. I like a minimalist saddle and a minimalist bib. Now, right in the middle of this one, the SQ Lab, this fat mama jama right here with Asos is the Pearl Azumi with the new Levitate chamois. Unfortunately, I, I forgot to pack those this morning when I came in to do this video. Sorry. But I have done videos on that and I'll link that in the description below. This is a 350 something dollar bib. Uh, these I don't remember. Asos is pretty expensive. But the Pearl Azumi Levitate chamois uh, uh, bib with the Levitate chamois, 225 I think, US dollars. I don't know how much they, they will be in South Africa. So Daryl, I would strongly suggest you pick up one of those. Um, I think they have, I mean, for shoes, they have a, a, 50, a 60 day fit guarantee. I, I think you might be able to work something out with the bib shorts. But I honestly think that is a fantastic bib short for the money. I wear that bib short a lot. That's why I don't have it right now because I wore it on Saturday's 100 miler. Uh, 6.40 in the saddle, um, total time, I don't know, seven plus. S very, very comfortable bib short. The materials are amazing. So, Yes, you can go with that SQ Lab bib short. I, I yes, I recommend it. I also recommend the Pearl Azumi with the Levitate chamois. And then maybe if by day you say you got five days, so let's say three or four days into this 1,068 kilometer, um, you know, so that's 600 and something miles. Maybe by day four or five, three, four, maybe, maybe you want to be sitting on your living room couch and you, and you get one of these Asos bib shorts. Anyway, I hope that that helps you, Daryl. Um, please let me know what you think. Additionally, if anyone else has questions and, and you, and, and you send me an email or reach me through Instagram or, or through the comments section, I'll be happy to share my experience. And once again, it would be my experience and my recommendations, but um, it, 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 in most cases, <laughs> it's a pretty well personal experience, real life experience uh, recommendation coming to you. So it, 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 it will hold a lot of weight. And I think, um, uh, I think I will steer you in the correct direction, but I've been wrong before. Anyway, I appreciate everyone. You know, we are so close to 2000 subscribers. Um, at the making of this video, we're at 1958. And so that's like 42 to go to get to 2000. So please, if you've been watching the channel, you're getting value out of the content. You know, I get my analytics, so I know who's been watching the channel unsubscribed, subscribed. So please, as Wayne O's photo says, don't be a ninja watcher. Click that subscription, click that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. In the meantime, please share your comments on what bib shorts work for you. And please like and subscribe, and we'll see you up the road.